So in this video, I'm going to show you how to input your data that you have collected into an Excel sheet. And then I'm going to show you how you can use formulas to find the total, the count, the average, the mean, the median, the mode, the minimum, the maximum, and the range. And then I'm going to show you how you can convert this data into charts. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put our data in. So I am going to use this column for the name and column B for data. And you could title it name and dogs or name and doors or whatever you're doing. And we are going to put a name in and then we're going to put the data. So to get to this data slot, you can hit the tab button and then you can arrow down to the next column. So I want you to input all of your data entries. So for example, I have 30 that I'm going to input in. So go ahead and pause the video and get those all put in. So if you notice, your data should be one more than you collected. So for instance, I collected 30 data entries, but I'm at 31. And the reason I'm at 31 is because number one is actually the title of my columns. Now, if your column is really short and your names aren't showing up, you can just grab up here at the top and you can extend that to however wide you want it to be to read your data. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to put some things down here so that we can use some formulas in Excel. So you are going to put total, you are going to put count, you are going to put average, you are going to put mean, median, we are going to put mode, we're going to put the minimum, we're going to find the maximum, and then we are going to find the range of our data. So you need all of those in because the next thing I am going to show you is how to create those formulas for those. So the first one we're going to find is the total. So I want to find the sum of all of my data in here. So to do that, we are going to use the sum formula. So you are going to hit equals, type the word sum. You're going to do a parenthesis. And then we are going to tell Excel what column and what data we want to use. So I am going to highlight all of my numbers in this column. So I'm going to go to the top, but I'm not going to include my data. I'm just going to go up here to my first entry. And then you'll notice we're telling Excel we want to do, we want to add everything up from B2 to B31. So I'm going to close because that is where my data is at and hit the enter button and it's going to total. So if I were manually to type those all in a computer, it would tell me that the total of those is 157. Now we also need to know the count. We need to know how many data entries we have. I know I have 30, but what if I had a lot and I didn't want to count them all? We can find the count. So to do that, you are going to hit equals count. So we are telling the computer we want to know the count. Again, you need to put a parenthesis because now we are going to highlight our data and say, please count how many entries I have from column B2 to B31 in parenthesis. So you're telling it that's where I want you to stop and hit enter and you get 30, which I know is correct because I collected 30 data points. Now to find the average, we can do this two ways. We know that to find average, it is the sum, which is the total of all my entries, divided by the number of scores. I already have that information in here. So it's really easy for us to do that. We are going to take equal parenthesis. I want this value because this is the sum. Okay, B35 holds the sum divided by, which is the forward slash, and I want to divide it by my total number of scores, which is the count, which is this number here. And then we hit in parenthesis. It tells me that my average is a 5.23. So if we're talking about physical animals or physical things, the average is about five total. So I would go down. To find the mean, the mean is the exact same thing as the average, but we are going to have the, the Excel formula calculate that for us. 
So to do that, we know that the mean is the average. So we want to find the average. So we are going to hit equal average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, parenthesis. And we are telling it that we want it to find the average of this information. Okay, so we highlight all of our data. And we hit an in parenthesis. And what we're telling this is please add all of these data entries and then divide by how many data entries I have, which is what we manually did up above. We're going to hit Enter. And again, we get 5.233. And that's because the average and the mean are the same thing. The next thing we are going to calculate is the median. And the median is the number that is in the middle. So remember to do this manually. You have to put all of your numbers in order from least to biggest. And then you start crossing off from each end and you find the center number. And if you have an even amount of data entries, you have two numbers in the center, which then we have to find the average of those also. So what we're going to do is we are going to tell Excel to find the median of the data we have collected. So to find the median, and we're going to have Excel do all of that work. We're going to have it sort them from least to greatest and find the middle. And if there's two numbers in the middle, we're going to have it add them up and divide by two and give us the average of those two numbers. So to do that in Excel, you hit equal and you type in median parenthesis. And we want to find the median of our data. So again, we are highlighting this column. We're coming back down here. We're doing in parenthesis because that's the data I wanted to find the median of. And we hit enter, and it tells me that my median is 5. Next, we're going to find the mode. And mode is the number that occurs more, most often in our data. So here we're going to type equals mode parenthesis, highlight your data. Go back down and hit end parenthesis. So 5 is also the mode. So 5 is the median, but 5 is also my mode. And those don't always have to be the same, OK? They can be different. So in Excel, there is no range function. So we can't type equal range. But we do know that range is the largest minus the smallest. So we are going to find the min and the max. So the first thing I'm going to find is the min. So equal min, parenthesis, highlight your data, which means it's going to find the lowest number. Go down here and do in parenthesis, enter. So my lowest number is 0. And now I'm going to do the max. So I'm going to do equal max, max, parenthesis, and I'm going to highlight my data. I'm going to hit in parenthesis and hit enter. So my max is 12. So we know in order to find the range, we just need to take the max minus the min. So I am going to hit down here. I'm going to create that formula. I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to select my max, which is this. It's in B42. And I'm going to subtract my min, which is 0. And I'm going to hit Enter. And my range is 12. So now we have found all the components of our data that we need to. So now we're going to look at how to create some graphs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at possible charts. So what you want to do is you want to highlight your data. So I'm going to highlight all of my, all my data. And then I'm going to go to the Insert tab. And then here is where I can select my graph. So see all these different charts? I can insert a column bar graph. I can insert a line graph. So I'm going to select this one. And it's going to show me all the different graphs. And if you see here, there is a preview of those graphs that it's giving me. OK, so you can pick your chart that you want. So let's say I want to do, I'm going to just do this simple chart. So notice it gives me the data. And then it gives me 
all the names down here. Now, if I want to change that title right here, I can click here and then I can call it number of, oops, let me capitalize that because it's a title, number of electronic devices. So now I have a title for my chart and everybody's name appears down here. Now, if you don't like that chart, all you have to do is click on it and then you can delete it. And now I can go, I can highlight my data. If you don't highlight your data, it will not give you a chart, it'll be blank. And then I can go back into insert and I can even click here and it'll show me recommended. Okay, so it's showing me possible recommendations. Notice this one is giving me from high to low. Um, I can go to all charts and I can look at column charts. I can look at line charts, line charts with markers. So you can click on any of these that you want and it will give you that set of data. And again, you can go in here and you can rename that title. So there's all kinds of different charts in there. So again, to view your charts, you can do insert. And then if you click this little arrow right here, gives you recommended. Okay, so this is what's recommending for my data. But then I can go to all charts and I could select a pie chart. I could select a bar graph. I can select an area. I can select columns. So this is where you can um, choose your, your graphs that you want. This one's colored. So I could click OK and it's going to pull my data in and it's going to give me colors for every single person.